Hi everybody, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, back with another Flash video for you guys, and today's topic is going to be talking about why Matt Lester should return as Reverse Flash in any future Flash season, alright? So, just a quick reminder that the last time we saw Matt portraying this character was back in Flash Season 3 and Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, so that was approximately about 2017, so that was about 4 years ago now since we last saw Matt portraying the character, and this video essay is not going to be talking about which version of Reverse Flash is better, because we can save that for a future video, and also, I'm sure most people watching this video will agree that both actors portray the character relatively well, so just a quick reminder as well before we begin the video that The Flash Season 8 is being released on November 16th, 2021, and Season 7 has already concluded on July 20th, and it is up on Netflix for anybody who wants to watch it and get caught up with the show. So, that being said, let's get right into this video. Okay, so I've broken up my video into two sections, so if you want to go ahead and skip to a particular one, you can go ahead and click those timestamps in the description below, but let's go right ahead and get into the first one. Okay, so here we are with the first reason, and that is Reverse Flash's origin story, alright? So... As of right now, even after Season 7 has been concluded, the show has not yet really shown us Thon's origin, which I'm assuming that they'll be saving this for perhaps the final season of the show. As of right now though, there is no confirmation yet as of September whether Season 8 or Season 9 will be the conclusion, but with some from the main cast leaving the show as series regulars, like some examples come to mind like Cisco or Dr. Wells, and even though they do occasionally show up in later episodes, they are still no longer series regulars like they used to be, so I'm just getting that point out of the way first, alright? So, now back to the topic, so far The Flash has only told us a bit about Thon's origin in Season 2, Episode 11, when Thon tells Barry about how he realized that he was destined to be The Flash's enemy, but they haven't really yet shown it to us, you get what I mean? And obviously the best... Um, I'm sorry, the best way to drive this point home is the show and not tell rule. So, I know that this plot point was somewhat explained in the comics, but come on, this is the Flash TV show, so not everything will be the same as the comics, and that could also potentially include Thon's origin story being slightly different. So, in Season 2, Episode 11, they've told it to us, but they haven't really yet shown us, okay? So, it's still not really yet diving deep into Thon's origin. So, now, if they're gonna go... I'm sorry, if they're gonna go ahead and do this, it should also be noted that the only time Thon actually had Wells' face is Season 1 and onwards, so the only reason he even took Dr. Wells' face was because he had to masquerade as Dr. Wells in the first place to enact his 15-year plan as seen in the first season, alright? So, this basically means that essentially every version of Reverse Flash we have seen ever since was basically the older version, so... It won't really make sense if the show starts to finally dig deeper into Thon's origin story and that Matt Ledger doesn't somehow return, because the show was already established back in the earlier seasons that Thon's original face for his younger self is supposed to be Matt Ledger, alright? So, if they are gonna go ahead and get right into this plot point that they've been building up for the entire show, they definitely have to get Matt back as the actor for Reverse Flash. And anyway, so that's pretty much it for this section. Um, Thon's origin story is necessary, and that means Matt coming back to the show is absolutely necessary as well. Okay, so let's move on to section 2, and that is simply too much Tom Kavanagh, alright? So, now we've seen both actors portraying the character Reverse Flash, but Tom Kavanagh has always been portraying Reverse Flash all the time, all the time, from season 4 and onwards, even up to season 7, alright? Even if it's no longer necessary in-universe for Thon to have Wells' face, like... Look, okay, look, we get it, alright? Tom is a great actor, no doubt about that. He's portrayed plenty of different versions of Harrison Wells, and he's still managed to make all of them seem like different people, so as viewers, we already get the point that that is a great testament to Tom's acting skills. But even then, enough is enough, and in comparison to Tom, we have barely ever seen Matt portraying Thon, and the only other time we was in Legends of Tomorrow, so I mean, what I mean by that is that the only other time, aside from the Flash TV show, is in Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, which is approximately four years ago. So, the way I see it is that Tom portrays the older, more mature and calculating version of Reverse Flash, 
And that works well for season one when he had to masquerade as Dr. Wells for 15 whole years. And we have seen that now for so many seasons that it'd be really interesting to see more of Thawne's maniacal wild side, which Matt's absolutely portrays perfectly compared to Thawne's reverse flash. Like, he absolutely nails the role. That's the thing I like to say about that. Matt Letcher. Like, if you don't believe me, just rewatch Season 3, Episode 1, or maybe even Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, and you can see how good Matt portrays Reverse Flash as a maniacal and more evil version. So, like I said before, though, I am saving the topic about who is the better Reverse Flash for a future video, but this section is simply trying to show the contrast of both actors even though they technically play the same character, just at different time periods of their lives, okay? So, there you go. That is why Matt Lester should eventually return to The Flash in Season 8, or eventually any future season. And I'm not just talking about continuity purposes here, but it's also to just finally expand more on Eobard's origins, and also more about his evil side. So, like I said before, thank you very much for watching, and obviously, if you have any other question, feel free to comment down below. And one last thing I like to say is that this is definitely also a wasted opportunity if they never delve deep into this or if they never bring back Matt as Reverse Flash because this has been really like set up since season one where we have seen Tom Kavanaugh's Reverse Flash talking about their epic future rivalry and then season two setting up the origin story where Matt is supposed to have found out Reverse... I'm sorry, Matt's Reverse Flash is supposed to have discovered that he's the enemy of Barry, his arch enemy, as he was time traveling, and then he eventually found it out somehow. So that is something that would have been wasted if they've never shown it to us, and obviously if they have never brought back that version of Thawne, where Matt portrays him absolutely perfectly. So that being said, Flash Season 8 releases November 16th, 2021, as another reminder. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Raphael out.